Lap dulcimer is the easiest string instrument to play. This little instructional sequence is going to show you how to play and get you started. So the dulcimer has three strings, basically. If you have a four string dulcimer, you probably have a doubled string right here. And the best way to get started is to take your right hand, rest it on the side of the dulcimer, and pluck the string that's closest to you. Just pluck it, see if you can do that without looking at it. So we have your right hands plucking, and you can do that without looking at it. And now your left hand is your push down hand. That's the one that makes the different notes. You make notes by pushing down on the fir that first string next to, but not on top of, one of these shiny bars. They're called frets. And you can see I put some labels on some of these. The third space, the fifth space, the seventh space, and the tenth space. And when you press down, you want to be next to the fret. If you get too close, you're going to muffle the sound. If you get on top of the fret, you're going to muffle it. And if you get too far away, you're not going to get a clean sound. So I tell people, leave space for an ant to walk between your finger and the bar you're pressing next to. Now that you can play notes on the dulcimer, your next step is to play a song. A simple song that you know pretty well by ear. You can figure it out. Mary Had a Little Lamb starts here on five. Or Row, Row, Row Your Boat starts on three. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star starts on three and jumps up to seven. Then it just comes down the ladder, a step at a time. And lots of other simple songs that you know you can line on the dulcimer. A lot of them are going to end right here on the third space because that's the bottom of your major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, do. Now that you've learned how to play one or two songs by ear on this one string, plucking with your right hand, you've got your left hand pretty much knows what it has to do. Now we're going to change things for your right hand and introduce the pick so you can strum the song like this. Okay, there's the pick. You want to hold it with the point down, hold it firmly so it doesn't fall out of your hand. Uh, I keep your wrist pretty still. Don't get really floppy like a paintbrush. You want to swing with your whole arm and set up a nice steady rhythm. I tell people to imagine themselves holding a rag and polishing a table that's uh, already been polished so the rag has almost no resistance and your hand's moving in a very level plane. And then lower that hand so you're grazing the strings on the way in toward you. Lift it a little bit on the way out, so you just have a strum on the way in. Your thumb coming right towards your belly button. This is a fine place. You don't have to be way back here, even though you've got the strum hollow here. You, can, you don't have to play over that strum hollow. See if you can get a steady, steady beat. And see if you can do it without even washing your hand. And then try hitting the string on the back stroke. So you get twice as many hits for each movement of your arm. That's the way we're going to get our fast notes and our filler notes. Okay, now that you got your strum hand going, you can combine it with your push down hand and play a song. So there's no one right way to play the dulcimer, it's a nice thing about a folk instrument, and you can use multiple fingers wherever they fit. So we could do Mary Had a Little Lamb like this. So you've learned the traditional, simple way to play the dulcimer. Anyone aged 5 to 105 can use this simple method to play the dulcimer, playing melodies on the one string that's 
closest to you, strumming all three strings to get a nice drone harmony. Now the dulcimer is capable of a whole lot more musically and we'll show you some of those things in following segments, but you can get started playing tunes using the simple traditional way on the Appalachian lap dulcimer. <laughs> 